Yeah, it's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is January 24th, 2019. Shout out to my man Tyson Shields for this one, boy. Gangstar, you know my steez, classic joint right here. And rest in peace to Guru, died a few years ago. I think he had complications from cancer or something, but... Yeah, sweet joint right here. Definitely takes me back to the good old days of hip hop. But what's good, people? Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at um, some new revelations about XRP and this report that's saying that uh, their market cap may be overstated by billions of dollars. So, we're going to take a look at what they're talking about in this article from coindesk and then secondly we've got an article or a rumor coming out of ethereum world news that telegram the infamous telegram you see it there to the left or right on your screen uh their token will be released uh in march so we'll we'll take a look at what they're talking about there you know they were trying to do an ico uh back in 2000 i think late 17 maybe going into 2018 but first get over to cryptoblood.io and sign up for that trading signal it is still available guys long and short trading on bitmex all automated and i actually um have the results for uh the ethereum versus us dollar pair up on the site now as well it's not loading here on the screen for whatever reason in my software it won't load the newest version but if you go to cryptoblood.io slash bitmex algo you'll see a link in the description of this video but if you go there you'll see the results for the ethereum uh versus usd algo that is also running concurrently with the bitcoin usd algo now uh, launched that algo i think about a week ago at this point so check it out if you guys are interested it is included in this subscription cryptoblood.io so let's go ahead and take a look at uh this market cap we're currently at 120 billion so back above the 120 billion dollar mark though not much price action still going on here we've been uh flatline people it's not not too much action going on was surprised to see no real price action or response to the CBOE withdrawing their application for the Bitcoin ETF. So that means it was priced in. So there, that I mean, I guess that's good news that it was priced in. That takes one fundamental head risk out of the uh, equation. So now the last thing we have is the backed uh, exchange, whether or not that's going to be pushed out further or past we don't know if it's priced in or not so we'll have to see how the market reacts to that one but other than that there's really nothing else this fiscal year this calendar year for us to be excited about from a fundamental standpoint that would catch us off guard and to move these markets up or down so yeah nothing here groundhog's day if you ask me <laughs> first article is out of coindesk uh, as I've stated, XRP market cap may be overstated by billions. Masari report estimates. A new report from crypto data startup Masari estimates the true market capitalization and circulation supply of the digital asset XRP is markedly less than what data sources currently present, as depicted on the data provider like Coin Market Cap as well as ripple the distributed ledger tech company closely linked to the digital asset xrp circulating supply is pegged at roughly 41 billion tokens but in its report masari posts that of that figure 19.2 billion xrp may be illiquid or subject to significant selling restrictions tied to daily trading volume including at least 6.7 billion xrp held by ripple co-founder jed mcleb that are subject to an agreement between him and ripple in addition masari said that it believes that the circulation figure includes 5.9 billion xrp pledged by ripple co-founder to a non-profit entity called ripple works an amount that it contended hasn't been delivered as well masari identified 2.5 billion xrp held by ripple works that are also subject to daily selling restrictions further the report also estimates that as much as 4.1 billion sold via xrp2 ripple's money services business is also subject to selling restrictions 
but Masari notes that it's impossible to track the magnitude of this illiquidity without direct disclosures from Ripple, so we use a reasonable estimate. All told, these factors have led to the market cap of XRP being likely overstated by more than $6 billion, according to Masari's reasoning. Following the publication of this report, a spokesman from Ripple disputed Masari's findings, telling Coindesk, not only does this report contain several inaccurate assumptions around lockups and selling restrictions, the entire report is based on an incorrect calculation of market cap. While decentralized digital assets like XRP are different from traditional equities, the term market cap is always a very simple calculation. Current price times total number of the asset equals market capitalization. That puts XRP's market cap at approximately 31 billion. We believe that any other calculation of market capitalization for XRP is not a clear representation of the truth. Well, let me tell you something. XRP is not a clear representation of a true cryptocurrency. So what are you saying there, XRP? In the report, it says Masari estimated that the figure could ultimately be higher, explaining in reality, this estimate may prove to be conservative as they believe XRP trading volumes, which have consistently fallen well below the EOS and Litecoin to crypto assets whose current reference market caps are a mere 17% and 15% of XRPs respectively. In addition, we believe the actual amount of restricted XRP in distributions to investors, banking partners, and team members may be significantly higher than our initial estimates reflect. The report notes that it sought input from Ripple and Ripple Works before the report publication but hadn't heard from the company. Of course not, which Masari contended results in question about how the restrictions work in practice. Ripple has not shared the methodology or reference exchange data it uses to calculate trading volume in XRP, a critical data point that drives selling restrictions. More than 99% of XRP trading volume appears to come from overseas exchanges, many of which have been suspected of wash trading. So at the bottom of this article, you can kind of see the detailed report of what Masari has placed out here. Interesting. You know, I don't... Uh, I don't really follow Ripple that much, but I'm I'm just by default definitely going to side with even if they're not fully accurate with their numbers. I'm sure they're very close to what the true market cap of Ripple is or XRP, I should say, uh, you know, 31 billion is is definitely out of control, especially if the volume of trading is nowhere near that. So, yeah, you guys let me know. Do you think this report is uh, spot on or close? I mean, we really don't know, but my gut feeling is telling me XRP, Ripple, they're all about headlines and trying to boost themselves up and validate themselves in this crypto space. So I wouldn't be surprised at all. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Second article out of Ethereum World News, now rebranded to EWN. It says here, cryptocurrency adoption and development continues to grow into the first month of this year, while prices of Bitcoin and other top coins remain stable into 2019. Blockchain and crypto have found a resurgence in messaging services looking to utilize a secure digital payment. Last year brought about a bombshell rumor that Facebook, which has been both a supporter and detractor of cryptocurrencies, was planning to launch a stablecoin on its WhatsApp messaging service. The social media giant, who established a blockchain-based payment division earlier last year, was also heavily criticized for joining Twitter and Google in implementing a crypto advertising ban that added fuel to the already crushing bear market. Now Telegram, a top 10 messaging app, is reported to be launching its token and mainnet as early as March 2019. Speaking with Cointelegraph, an anonymous source who claims to be close to the project says the messaging giant is looking to get its blockchain-based network and token to market within the next several months. The previously announced project, which will go under the name Telegram Open Network, raised close to $1.7 billion last year in two rounds of private initial coin offering funding. Despite the maligned landscape of ICOs, which by some reports has a fraudulence rate close to 80%, the Telegram ICO has been hailed as a successful use 
of the model and one that provides a blueprint for other established companies to explore the space. Telegram, who reports having an active monthly user count of over 200 million, has catapulted to the top 10 of app-based messaging platforms, providing an extensive source of exposure for blockchain and cryptocurrency. According to the source who claims to be close to Telegram founder and CEO, the estimated March release is subject to change, with the CEO being reluctant to give a definite date for the token and mainnet launch. In a separate report, Russian media outlet The Bell likewise commented on Tun's near readiness, stating that Durov has told investors the project is 90% complete, but to anticipate the possibility of delays. TON, which will make up the network portion of Telegram's blockchain project, is planning to utilize a native cryptocurrency, Gram token, with the ultimate goal of the service to be a new way of exchanging data. While the messaging service has been forthright about its plans to establish a blockchain and crypto-based platform, not everyone has been excited for the project. Following news last October that the project was approaching its release, the country of Iran issued a statement against Telegram and companies which would attempt to cooperate with the app. In particular, the Iranian government has claimed that the project undermines national security and has made an effort to restrict and ban the service dating back to 2018. And uh, finally, it says, in addition, Russia has also made an effort to ban the messaging service despite being the birth country of its founder and CEO. In a high-profile invasion of privacy, the Russian government attempted to force Dorov into sharing the app's encryption keys, claiming that it was a requisite under the current telecom laws. Dorov's refusal, while detrimental to growing the service in Russia, has been widely regarded as a positive move towards protecting privacy and free speech. Yeah, um, you know, Telegram is definitely one of the more encrypted uh apps out there you can do encrypted phone calls and messages and i'm just curious to see how they're going to try to implement this whole gram token i'm not too sure how that's going to pan out i don't know if that's going to be too successful but we'll see what do you guys think about that uh i've covered this before uh last year about you know telegram doing an ico and the private ico and all that what do you guys think about this ICO and this token? More importantly, is this going to be a business model that can succeed in, uh, going forward? I'm not too sure, especially if they're trying to, you know, implement this Gram token into the current, you know, Telegram app. I just I don't know how that's going to fit into it. I don't know how that's going to fit into it. But you guys let me know your thoughts and these private ICOs, man. Ah, just another way to shut out the little guys, I tell you. It's your boy Crypto Blood, and that's my two Satoshis for January 24th, 2019. Shout out to my man Tyson Shields again for that banging song right there, Gangsta. You know my steeds. It's your boy Crypto Blood. I'm out of here. Holla! Like in Vogue, it's something you can feel. Styles more tangible.